tends to be involved in all aspects of Newport City Homes is an extremely good thing and a very important thing because that way, that's the only way Newport City Homes are going to find out exactly what's going on, uh, how they feel in their properties and what needs to be done. I came to be involved with Newport City Homes through the academy that they run. I found out about this through a lady I was working with at Family Skills. I came to the open day, um, I had a chat to some of the teams and then filled out my application form and managed to get through to an interview and got a placement. It's made a huge difference to me. Um, I hadn't worked for 12 years, I'd come had a bit of a bad background, but I suppose it's given me my life back, taught me a lot of new skills, computer skills I had none when I started here, but now I'm good with a computer. So yeah, it's made a huge difference to my life. One of the things I've noticed, which, which I've, I've recommended um, to Stacey was, if someone is dealing, you put a complaint in for I can take to Stacey directly, if she's allocated that, uh, dele delegated that um, job to someone else, then you should have a correspondence email or a correspondence courtesy call to say, my name's so-and-so, so-and-so, I'm dealing with a complaint, any future correspondence come to me. I know this has been taken on board now, um, where uh, Stacey's acted upon what, what the suggestion I give her, so I thought that was pretty good. Since I've got involved as well, we've also um, took on the tenants' opinions on how things should be done. Uh, like with the community voice, um, we get to have a chat with different people and, and sort of pinpoint the main areas of problems. With QIP, uh, same, same thing, we get to meet the different um, areas of staff and we can then pass over any, any work, work which needs doing in the area uh, for, like, for tenants and you know, we know we get gets them a lot quicker and be messed about with a phone call or yeah, someone will get back to them no one ever does. I didn't have a lot of confidence so going back into the workplace for me was a hard thing, being around people. I also have two small kids as well so I was worried about where they would go when I was working and if I could fit it all around them but at Newport City Homes they try and fit things around you so it's been really good. Um, but I've also started doing the Board Academy because uh, I would like to become a, a board member eventually and um, try and help out as much as I can uh, in the future of Newport City Homes. Um, where like, my, I've had skill, many skills in the past, I, I was in the army for 14 years so it's, it's, all, it's all common sense really, you know, you've got to treat people right and to get the right response and you've got to earn your respect and you can't just sort of get respect just like that in, in seconds, it would take years, it would take seconds to destroy it but it would take years to build it back up. So to actually get our business out of the building onto the high street where there was a much larger traffic flow was phenomenal and uh, Newport City Homes and the trader event that they ran um, allowed us to do just that with a 10 by 8 space. Um, we set it up in the morning and we had a whole day of, of free advertising basically, it was, it was great. And we got that, uh, you just can't buy that kind of face-to-face -face, you know, publicity. So, Obviously when we were asked, we thought it was a great opportunity to get out here on my 16 traders, my 16 dealers. Um, they could actually get out there and meet their customers and you know, it drummed up new fresh stock, uh, new customers and the actual knock on effect is still going on now and we're two months, three months away from it. So it's been really good that way. Newport City Homes do offer a lot of support and until I came here I didn't really know that so I think it, I suppose just letting residents know what they do offer because I for, for me I just thought it was a ho housing association I didn't know about all the other things they do and I think the knock-on effect from um, Newport City Homes being out there is that people actually see a real human face to the company as opposed to it's an entity and it's a brick wall you know and that it, it was really kind of no, they're there, they'll help you. So it was, that was brilliant on that kind of level, it was great. 
Um, I've had a lot of help from staff members at Newport City Homes because I hadn't had any interviews before I came to Newport City Homes so they helped me with all the things that I needed to say um, the things to write down in my job application forms, sell myself and it's, it's been a great help, it really has, it's been brilliant. The experience from start to finish was really friendly, which I thought was good. Um, sometimes with larger corporations, especially in a city like Newport, it's very difficult to know who um, who is who, um, who to go to, who to contact, who to call and I found personally it was really quite warm, it was very friendly and everyone was first name terms so when they, they actually said, you know, I got the telephone call and they said, you know, come out, come and meet us, we'll pop in, we'll have a chat. We went for a coffee. It was all really relaxed. It was really, you know, just easy. Um, and it was great. I think we, we got out of it, you know, from them backing us, which I will say is the only large corporation in Newport, the only the biggest company um, in, in housing, I think, in the area, um, supported us on a one-to-one -one level. And now we've not had that from the council. We've not had that from newspapers, we've not had it from anybody who should probably be backing individual independent businesses where you know this housing company who doesn't primarily I suppose deal with commercial properties but they came forward and said hey you know we're us and we'll help you and you help us so that's what we did and it was, it was great, it was good.